I'd like to start with with Pathway Studios because it, it's one of those fabled um, places that so many bands have started. Dire Straits obviously cut their Sultans of Swing there, and the likes of the Police and the Damned have been there, and and you guys started there too. So, so what's your memories of that famous small place? Well, it was a small place, that's for sure. Um, when I look at photographs of it, I don't know how we managed to set up, but <laughs> but we but we did. Um, and going to North London in those days was a bit of a mission. Um, it just seemed like it was miles away. Um, but to record with Baz was a treat. We recorded, I think, 21 songs in a couple of days, for three or four days. And it was a fantastic experience for a young band to record their songs and hear them for the first time. And if, if you don't mind indulging us with a story of behind one of the big hits, Call for Cats, it, it's the one that you sang on as well. And can you remember much about how that, that story came around and how the lyrics for that one came about? What I remember about the song was uh, it was the first time Glenn had given me the music rather than um, oh, okay. the other way around where I've given him the lyrics. So I had to go around and kind of put the lyrics to the music. And it was the first, I think it was the first take of the song. I wasn't sure whether it was good enough, but everybody seemed to applaud and think it was good. So that's exactly what you hear now. It's fantastic stuff. And um, how do you feel about the fact that you were the lead vocalist on that? Because at that point it was Glenn, wasn't it, that mainly took the lead vocals? Yeah, um, you know, to me, Glenn's always had, well, has an incredible voice and he's an incredible musician, producer. And, um, you know, I bow to his, uh, his grace, really. So um, there was no competition for me to sing as well as Glenn. He sings so perf perfectly. Absolutely. And uh, someone else that, that I spoke to recently, Paul Carrack, obviously worked with you guys. And, and I always ask people at the end if they can pick a song to go onto a playlist called Artist Choice. It's something from their own back catalogue. And considering Paul's worked on so many different things, he actually chose the song Tempted. And uh, just to read a couple of the words he said, he said it was a fantastic lyrics. He could only dream of writing a descriptive lyric like that. Uh, he said he could have sung it better. He says it was a bit too high for him at the time, but he loves the song and he put that one forward. I mean, uh, how does that make you feel when you got someone like Paul, like, of all his catalogue to choose from, he's chosen a song written by yourselves. Um, my God, um, I love Paul Carrick. I love working with him. I haven't seen him for such a long time, maybe two years or something. So uh, I must prod him. But um, I'm very honoured and touched by, by that. And what do you remember about the whole Tempted song? Because it was another big hit for you guys, wasn't it? Um. All I remember is Elvis Costello, who produced the record, um, saying that maybe this this should be the song that Paul sings, and we all kind of weren't ready for that. But when Paul sang it, it made perfect sense. And then obviously um, you had huge hits here in the UK, and then kind of in the 80s, you broke America, didn't you? It's not an easy thing to do, to, to go over to America and break America, but you guys worked hard. You toured relentlessly, didn't you? And it, it really paid off with the audience over there. Yeah, we still do. Um, last year we played over there for over 11 weeks, so we still managed to um, uh, invite an audience. And um, it's a great place to play, and it always is. The people are joyous and respectful, and they really love music, music, they love squeeze. So it's a gift to go over there, really. It absolutely is. And obviously yourself and, and Glenn have worked together for, for such a long time since you were teenagers. Um, in and out of Squeeze as well, that you guys have, have collaborated in between and things like that. So the, the way that things work between you, what is it you think that's held you together for so long and, and keeps that magic there? Um, well, I guess it must be our differences. We're very different people. We like different music, I think. We like uh, um, different everything i guess but the thing that brings us together is the chords that glenn writes and the words that i write so it's that's that's the kind of um the glue that keeps our relationship tight how, how did it work it's, it's obvious that you wrote all the lyrics and glenn writes all the, the music to it so and you mentioned earlier that it was the first time that glenn had given you a, a backing track basically and you put the lyrics to cool to cats so in terms of songwriting lyrics do you just send him a big batch and see what comes back how, how does that kind of work um well it's kind of how it works now as well as um i'll get the call asking for some lyrics i'll sit and write some and then send them to glenn and then eventually uh, i'll get to hear if any of them made it to the uh, drawing board <laughs> and um you know these days it's kind of we're we don't write as much as we used to because uh, 
there isn't the time really to do that that kind of uh passionate songwriting relationship that was once there do doesn't exist because we're older and we've got different things going on um but you know i'm very proud of the things we've written and uh, always will be yeah.